Good morning, Dr. Ken Starr with the Wellness Group in Rio Grande. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and please subscribe to our video. This is trying to get as much information about buprenorphine, suboxone, medication-assisted treatment, detox, all these uh, good things that people really want to know about. This video today is an update on Sublocade. We've made a couple videos on Sublocade. Some of my earlier thoughts were wrong. They need to be corrected as we've had more experience. First thing I want to talk about with Sublocade is tapering. I initially I came out, I said, look, if you want to get off Suboxone, don't use Sublocade. It's a very long acting medicine. You can't control the dose. You're probably better off not using it. I want to say I was 100% wrong. Sublocade turns out to probably be the best tool for getting off buprenorphine we have, and I'm going to explain why. My second video, I, I said, well, we have, we're giving this, uh, we're giving patients a little bit less and less and less of the syringe, like 10%, we're reducing their, their shot every month. Yeah, you can do that. I got something better now. So here's the, here's the deal. A sublocade is a once a month subcutaneous injection of buprenorphine, right? The active ingredient in suboxone. It has a very long duration of action. And once it's at steady state, meaning once you've had the shot three or four times, you're at steady state, it comes off very, very gradually and slowly. Well, a paper came out a year or two ago that, that said that they had these patients on low doses of buprenorphine, like six milligrams or less. They gave them a shot of uh, sublocade, and that was it one time. And they tapered off and they did great. It kind of got me thinking like, well, let's try, let's try this, right? So we've done this a lot now in the clinic. Um, patients with all, on all different doses of buprenorphine, anywhere from a milligram up to 24 milligrams. And we've had phenomenal experience about uh, joint, you know, getting them off of, tapering them off of buprenorphine with sublocade. And I'll explain how I do it. I would encourage you to ask your provider how they do it. So number one is what is your dose? So if I have people on say four milligrams or less, I give them the 100 milligram shot, the lower dose, the 100, 100 milligram sublocade, I'll do that twice. One month, 100, the next month, 100, and stop. And it's a gradual, it's painless reduction, and people come off, no withdrawal, no craving. Um, we've done that a lot with good success. If people are on more than four milligrams, like say six or more, I give them a 300 once or twice, a 100 once or twice, and then stop. Um, if people are on higher doses, like say 16 to 24, we'll do 300, you know, two times, maybe three times, drop them down to 100 a couple times and then stop. And all these patients are reporting no withdrawal, no craving. So Sublocate is a phenomenal tool to get off of buprenorphine, I would encourage you. In fact, for most of our practice, it's actually taken over our detox practice. We used to detox patients off Suboxone when they get down these low doses, like one milligram, two milligrams, three milligrams hit a wall, couldn't get any lower. We'd bring them in for like a 10 day NAD detox. Uh, we still do that a little bit, but now I'm saying just do sublocate a couple times and it's cheap. I mean, it's insurance pays for the medication. There's a nursing injection fee. They do that twice and they're done. So that is the main point I want to make that I was wrong earlier. I said sublocate probably didn't have a role in tapering. I think it has a phenomenal role in tapering. Uh, number two, the second part of the video is answering questions. Uh, we've had some questions on, on the YouTube channel about uh, sublocade. A couple of people say that my math is wrong, that 300 milligrams uh, over 30 days is 10 milligrams a day. Completely not true. Your blood serum level on 300 milligrams steady state is six and a half, and that is nanograms per milliliter, right? Well, what, for comparison, your steady state on 12 milligrams of buprenorphine a day is 1.7. On 24 milligrams a day, it's 2.9, so it's almost it's almost three. I mean, 300 milligrams a day steady state is, is is you know like 48 milligrams a day. It's super high, so it's way more than that. It's not equivalent. 300 milligrams is not is not 10 days. It's 10 milligrams a day for 30 days, not at all. It's way more. If you have any more questions, please uh, email us. Please call us. Happy to answer them. Please like. Please subscribe, and uh, we appreciate it.